Uh, we get to start off day 37 with an elite combat task for hardcore tombs. And we get a purple. Light bearer? Hey, alright, we got the fang already. And the red jewel for the Karis. I think equipping the fang is gonna be a league task. Another 200 points in the bag. But I'm still here for those dart tips. Still no dart tips, but we have the breach of the scarab now. And a blood essence. Okay. But I am ready to move on from here. Can I get the drop, please? Another raid done, another combat task completed. And that's 50 combat achievements finished for the league points. Come on, dart tips. Why? All right, ninth tombs of a masket clear, and we've managed to successfully push our way up to 220. And it looks like we have another purple in store. What do we get? All right, we got the light bearer. I will happily take that. I can finally fill in our ring slot with something useful. Still no darts though. Finally, dragon dart tips after 13 runs in the tombs. Oh, I am free of here until we actually get our better gear. I've been getting kind of tired of running these solo, but at least we have the tombs of a masket down pretty well in terms of mechanics. And if you're curious, yeah, seven hours of Tombs of a Masket puts us onto day 38. I love when things come down to RNG. By ideally doing this gives us our elite task done in the desert, and now all we have to do is level up construction and get a Calphite Queen head. I think we'll go for the head first. Oh, we got the Dragon 2-hander from the Calphite Queen. We're so far 12 kills in, going pretty smooth. When she spawns, just turn on prayer and spam her. When you take damage, walk under. Heal on up, and just click back. During that transition period, heal up again, save your prayer from being drained, click it back on and spam her. Ideally the head should be here soon. Now well, we finally got the dragon chain body over here on kill 16, we can equip that for a task and run away real quick before we get killed. I'm hoping to find the KQ head somewhere around kill 50 to 100 ideally. And there's the dragon pickaxe coming in at kill 31. So far a few decent items, so it makes the grind for the head a little more worth it. There it is, 47 kills in and we get the KQ head. But my question is, why does it say we completed the diary already? I thought I had to talk to it in my house. Yeah, all tasks are crossed off. Even though it does say speak to the KQ head in your POH. All I had to do was get the drop, I didn't even need to get the construction level. Glad we went for the drop first. Let's talk to Jar. Claim our lamp into Herblore like a good Iron Man. Brings us up to 79. And I think this is now what the bottom of our inventory is gonna look like. Food and prayer restore next to the unnote. Bank teleport. Stat restore teleport. Destination teleports. And recall. Let's use our Narda teleport on the amulet for the first time. Oh, it's so nice. And now we can start spamming God Wars. There's the Serotomans light drop. I apparently cannot consume it, but it's another log slot. Our Serotomin Sword coming in on 44 KC. I think we can equip it real quickly and that gives us another 80 points. There we go, and now we can commune with the Light of Serotomin that everything's dead, and that'll give us Zamorak having the ability to be able to see in there. Alright, we got another piece of the God Sword. Shard number one is now dropped for us, and that's also 50 KC at Zilliana. It is so nice to have gotten the Desert Amulet to come do this grind now. We can just pop right on back, click the statue, and immediately recall, and it also speeds up the boss spawn timer. And with the prayer set up, just absolutely shred through bosses. Oh, in-game bossing in League is so good, you basically just feel unstoppable no matter what you pick. And we have the hilt before we have the God Sword. The thing I'm looking for is going to be the last thing I get. Alright, we got the Tome of Water after another few rounds at Temporas. And that's the only thing we found that's a unique. Get 40 more points for equipping the Tome. We have some new junk food cooked up. Holiday events are over, and now that we are back home at the laptop, we can get back to hunting our drops. Well, we're now up to 100 KC at Zilliana, and we still do not have our uh, Armadil crossbow yet. Please come before 150. 
Well, at least we now have the God Sword Shard 3. We can finally make one. Alright, we finally have the Armadil crossbow now. Thank you. 141, so yes, it was before 150. Goodbye, Rune Crossbow. Hello, 200 League Points. And now to upgrade our Void. Time to grapple on over to Armadil, switch over from Mage to Range for our Quick Prayers, and let's get our KCs. Yeah, this will go by pretty quick. And now to get our first KC. Well, at least we got the League task for defeating Kriara, and that'll mean the Frozen Key piece, and some free Dragonstone Bolts. Right on, right on. Kriara goes down pretty fast. Kill number three gives us the Armadil Chain Skirt already. We now officially lose our Void Knight bonus, but we do get a nice 200 points. Two pieces to go for another 200 with the full set. 10kc and nothing too special yet. Alright, we got the helmet coming in on kill 38. That means we are now one more step closer. Perfect, we had some decent luck. 83 kills to get the chest plate. Full armadillo equipped for 200 more points. We've also hit adamant rank now. And only Mazori remains for upgrading my range gear. And the Zerite crossbow. Well, since this episode is pushed over into day 43 as well, let's go ahead and see if we can't grab another 99 and a skill. Come on, one more level. There's the fireworks and 99 woodcutting. We now have a total of just under 2.3 thousand mahogany logs, so I hope that that's enough to get us up to 99 construction as well. At the moment we only have 1.4 mil, I think we need more money. Completely forgot I was wearing the Slayer cape while we were doing that, but we've got more in Death's office and I don't mind the red trim for a little while. While I get to Alking, I think that's gonna do it for us today. It'll be nice to get this video up and say hi to you guys again. Our comment highlight goes to WillieGC9143. He left this comment on the Vorkath guide, said the video came on autoplay and doesn't know if it's my voice or the way things are explained, but he's able to retain it much better. My assumption is it's the simplicity. If you overcomplicate something, it is way too much to remember. Keep it simple, less is more, you can remember it easily. Let me know in the comments how your holidays went or how your new year is hopefully going to go, and have a good rest of the day, you guys. And a massive thank you to Voshtek for still being a channel member. I highly appreciate you.